This is a follow-up video to show everybody my goldfinch mule in pairs. But I just wanted to make it clear to everybody out there that it's not easy to breed goldfinch mules. And to be honest, uh, the canaries to get fitter before the goldfinches. So here's a little trick that I do every year. And nine times out of ten after I do this, then I get full eggs. So I had all my hens go down. So she's sitting on eggs. She's sitting on eggs. I've got another hen here sitting on eggs. I've got another hen here sitting on eggs. She's just building. I've got another pair up here. She's on some eggs. She's sitting on eggs with her goldie cock. Another goldie cock here. His hen sitting on eggs. I've got another pair up here. She's sitting on what well, buildings this pair is. I've got another pair here sitting on eggs. But as you can see on all these pairs that are sitting, Unfortunately, with bird breeding, it's everybody has their ups and downs, and to be honest with you, I do too. So I put these birds down too early. The hens are really fit, but the finches aren't. So in all these cages that I've got here, um, I threw away about 30 clear eggs the other day. So what I do every year, this is a top tip, so the ends sit and rear the chicks a little longer, I give them all canary eggs. So she's on two canary eggs. She's on two canary eggs. They've all, the pairs that are sitting, have got two full canary eggs. So by the time they rear those canary chicks, these ones are due out on the 21st, the 20th, it's on the nest, but by the time they rear those chicks, it'll be th oh, maybe another month. And the finches will be really, really fit by then. They've got extra light. The weather should take a nice bit of warm. And the finches will come up nice. My finches are singing nice. They're eating plenty of dandelions. And, um, you know, they, they're looking nice, but they aren't just quite there yet. But I'm pretty sure... Um, that next time I'll leave them help rear the two canary chicks and that will bond them a bit more and next time it should be good but saying that my Siberian cockbird in my other shed he's full in eggs but he's had 14 hours of daylight I brought the daylight forward so I could breed some extra canaries this year and uh, he's had more light and he's a lot fitter than these so but Breeding birds is a hobby, is a science, and you've got to take the disappointments with it too. So sometimes you might see me done other videos, you think, oh, he's doing great. He knows what he's doing. No, we all make mistakes. And um, I threw loads of eggs away, but we'll see what will happen. Anyway, if you did the video help you in any way at all, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll do another one in a few weeks, showing you the finches feeding their canary chicks probably and uh i'll do a few more videos out through the year and hopefully i'll be able to show you some mules so uh see you on the next one